following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome into another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day being awesome to hang out with us on the east side of Music City, USA. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that notification button for the live stream, smash the like button for the algorithm. If you have a band, song, or a video, something you'd like me to make a video on, over on the Discord server is a YouTube reaction request tab. Read the pinned message, drop a link, a brief description, I'll get to it when I can. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to see an Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. All of my social media is linked down below as well as ways to help the channel grow and contribute. From Patreon to PayPal, everything is linked down below. Today's Discord suggestion comes from... I hope I say this correctly. Miku Dayo. Miku Dayo says, hey, check out this live performance of Bandmade. So today we're back with Bandmade and we're checking out Puzzle as suggested by Miku Dayo. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Let's check it out on the wild side. This is Puzzle. Oh, and it's live, by the way.
But wait, there's more. All right, that is Band Made with Puzzle Live January 2023, as suggested by Miku Dayo. The best word I can use to describe that performance would be complete. That is complete. That is 360 degrees filled with metal. Every element of this track checks the box. Every one of them. And I, I wrote a lot, actually. Normally, I don't, but I just write a couple of bullet points. But this one, it got me at the beginning because I wrote down great opening hook. The, the opening hook of this is, is perfect, and it took me a second, but I think I got it. There is That got me. Okay, so when I tell people, hey, here's a new song you've never heard before, there's a thread of familiarity you want in there. So you want something in there that someone's going to attach to and say, okay, that sounds familiar. That, that hook right there, <clears throat> very familiar. Still can't put my finger on it, but it's very familiar. Um, it's very familiar, and it's going to drive me crazy. But then the second one I got, I think. Um, it's there. I've got it. So there's your thread of familiarity, and then you open this up with this perfectly complete track. So you've hooked somebody, and that's why it's called a hook. It's an opening hook, right? So it hooks you with the familiarity. And then it takes you on this frenetically vulgar yet perfectly clean metal track. really does. The, the way the guitars work together is you don't know who's playing what until they show you. So they're in tune. They are in tune. So that's... That's awesome. That's really awesome. Yet there is differences in their styles and and the way they do their their progressions, but they're in tune. Again, her vocals improving every single time I hear them. Every single time I hear them, there's this ownership to it. There's a maturity to her vocals. There's a a authority to her vocals that are that make them clean and super rich so while you can hear that she is breathing through this track you can hear that what that should tell you is something was affected there was an effect used during the recording version and then they need to do that live and that's what you're hearing okay you're hearing there was a slight flange or something like that but her vocals stayed thick and rich through their texture. So everything was nice and clean and, like I said, full. Just full. Just complete. There was no wondering. There, there's no mumbling. Right? That's what I'm saying. She was articulate. Even in that pace. And that's what I want to get to here. What really stands out in this track for me are the drums and bass. Now, the drums and the bass are your bridge builders of a song. Those are the instruments that take you from the verse guitar licks into the next verse guitar licks. The drums and the bass do the fills and the rolls, and they build these bridges, right? They were on a different level here. The relationship between the bass and the drum, it was almost as if they were feeding off of each other. While the rest of the band was doing their thing and they're harmonizing, so her vocals are harmonizing with the lead vocals and that's creating this really cool layer. But over here, excuse me, what is the impetus of the track? What is the, um, the propulsion of this track are the bass and the drums. They keep each other going. So when the drum is going at a frenetic pace, the bass is just kind of laying down this groove time. And then when the drum goes into a straight count, the bass starts going off on this journey. It's really super cool how that interplay occurs. 
off to the side and you, you kind of have to sit and peel everything apart to get there. And when I did peel everything apart, it, it, it ended me on another thread of familiarity. So there, I, I talk about this all the time, threads of familiarity. Um, okay. Three, about, let's go here. I always talk about threads of familiarity, maybe back a little bit more. Okay. Maybe like right here. All right, so I talk about these threads of familiarity. Here it comes. That's Thunderstruck by ACDC. That's what that is. And I think it's awesome that in the middle of this track, this chick drops her Thunderstruck riff. Because it is an exercise. Angus Young has, has talked about this. So it's really super cool that that exercise, that progression that started as an exercise for Angus Young has become something so identifiable. It's the same key. It's the same. It is awesome how they drop that in there like that on you. It's just crazy. Like I said, man, they're they're checking all these boxes, and you have all these old rockers and these old metal heads are like, yeah, dude, band made, band made. Then they drop something in there. Guaranteed you, everybody's like, please tell me you're going into Thunderstruck. Please tell me that these girls are getting ready to do Thunderstruck. That would be awesome. So, again, thank you very much, uh, Miku Dayo, for that suggestion. These young ladies impress me. Every single time I watch them, they get progressively more comfortable and more mature in their sound. You can tell that they are are in a groove as a whole because when you watch them on stage, there's that, that fifth element, if you will, of joy. They love what they do. There's a passion with what they do, and you can hear that, and you can feel that in the energy coming off of them while they play. So seeing them live, that energy must be overwhelming. It must be sensory overload to be standing in front of that group of musicians and feel that energy. It, it has to be, you know, the is it live or is it Memorex kind of a moment for you. So every time I see them, it is getting progressively more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Their credulity rises with each performance. There you go. There you go. So thank you, Mikudayo, for getting us back with Bandmate. If you like Mikudayo, I'm saying it a lot, so I'm getting comfortable saying I hope I'm saying it right. Get over to the Discord server, left-hand side, YouTube reaction requests. Drop a link, a brief description. I will get to it when I can. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification button. Smash the like button. All the socials are down below, including Patreon and PayPal. If you would like to contribute, help the channel grow. You know, take care of your bartenders and waitresses. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to see and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Thank you to all of you for taking time out of your busy day being awesome to hang out with me in East Nashville. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this is The Wild Side. <laughs>